In this video, I'll be showing you how to use our new Active Content Free Listing Template Builder. To access the builder, go to Design and click Template Builder. A window will pop up that will allow you to choose from a couple of preset templates. We'll go with the default one for now. Click Load Template. First, enter a name for your new listing template. From the Templates section, you can choose and load a different template whenever you want. If you have also purchased a seasonal theme, like an Easter or Christmas one, you can enable it here. In Default Settings, you can choose your layout type as Fixed or Fluid. Fixed will allow you to set the width of your template manually, whereas Fluid will basically set your template to full width. You can also choose your page split here, as you might want to make your sidebar wider perhaps. You can add an image here as your background if you want. Click Browse, choose or upload your image, and then click Select. If you only want a plain or colored background, you can switch this back to color, and then select your main background and page background colors, and the background texture. To remove the texture, click Remove Texture. In the header section, you can select your header background color and customize your logo. You can keep your logo as plain text and amend its color, font family and font style, or just add an image for your logo. You can also set the height of the logo here. From the navigation section, you can choose whether or not to display your shop's custom pages in the top menu. If you set this to on, you will be able to change all the colors and fonts within the navigation menu. You can also move the links around by dragging and dropping them, or just hide them by clicking the red X here, or by switching them on or off from here. In the slideshow section, you'll be able to add sliding banners to your listing design. Click Browse and then select an image to be added to the slideshow. If you want to add another slide, just follow the same process again. You can then change the height of the slideshow as per your wishes, choose to fit the images to the template width, or customize your slideshow arrows and bullets. If you don't want to display the slideshow at all, just switch it to off here. In the sidebar section, you can choose whether to show or hide your entire sidebar, position it left or right, or just hide certain shop categories. You can also hide shop categories by clicking this red X here. To change the order of your categories, simply drag and drop them. From the tabs section, you will be able to change the colors, fonts, and sizes of your tabs, titles, and their content. To add a new tab or edit the existing ones, use the Add Tab and Edit buttons here. In the Footer section, you will be allowed to change the background color of your footer or just turn it off altogether. To edit the block to your footer, use the Edit button here. If you want to remove a block from the footer, you can click the Hide button here. In the Template Widget section, you can choose to show or hide specific blocks in your listing design. From custom blocks, you can add a YouTube video to your listing template, custom blocks, or your own custom CSS. And finally, if you wish to customize certain blocks in your design, you can click the Style button on each block where this is possible, and then change the colors, fonts, sizes, and styles based on your preferences. Once you're done customizing your listing design, click the Preview button here. If all looks fine, hit save and you're good to go. If you still want to make some changes to your design, click back to Builder and continue customizing your template. Thank you for watching. If you require further assistance, please visit our support section on www.adlister.co.uk.